Welcome to day 55. So today's kind of a fun day. I, I kind of think it's fun anyway. The topic that we're going to talk about, I love to talk about. In fact, I might have put it in my book. Can I do a plug for my book? Because we're going to talk about it later, but Flip the Gratitude Switch by Kevin Clayson. <laughs> um, so I talk about it in my book, and I wanted to share it with you because we're talking about self-esteem this week, right? Have you ever wondered why we have such poor self-esteem? Like, what has happened that's caused, because just the other day, we talked about the fact that everybody struggles with self-esteem. They have to overcome themselves to be able to trust themselves so they can go create more results and increase that self-confidence and self-esteem. So where does it come from? Well, let me share something with you. Do you know that today, in this life that we're living here, we have more ways to ding our self-esteem than ever before? Because you know what we got? We got a little thing called social media. And here's the deal. You know what used to be? That, that if you wanted to compare yourself to your neighbor, you had to like creepily like look through the blinds and like hope that they don't see you like at watching them take out the trash, right? Like that was what we used to do to compare ourselves to others. We used to simply infer, I wonder what their life is like. I think I know what their life is like. I'm going to compare my life to them or they look a certain way. So let me compare myself to them. Now we can compare ourselves to people all day and they don't even know because we Facebook stalk them. We can watch their Snapchat and their Instagram and we can just look at them like, look at their life. That's amazing. Why is that mine amazing? And we're constantly comparing ourselves to other people. The other thing we have that's amazing is reality TV. Right? Think about reality TV, right? It's reality, right? We know it's not reality. All that junk is scripted. But we watch like the Kardashians and we're like, they're not even talented. Like, how come they have so much money? I don't get that. And then, I don't know why we talk like that, but we do. And then we watch it and we're like, I'm not like them. I'm comparing myself to them. Why isn't my life like theirs? We go on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and we go, why isn't my life like theirs? We're constantly comparing ourselves to other people. And you know what? Sometimes we don't even realize we're doing it. And the stuff that people are putting out there on social media, it's not even real life, right? That's what they want you to see. That's how they want you to... They, they are trying to tell you a story about what their life is like. You want to know why? Because they have poor self-esteem. And they're hoping that by trying to convince you that their life is awesome, that they actually will be more awesome. And maybe if you think they're awesome, they just might be more awesome. The whole reason for that generally is poor self-esteem. And then we compare ourselves to this sort of falsified reality that we see on social media and on reality TV. And then that comparison makes us feel bad about where we are and what we're doing. And so it's like this constant, just this vicious cycle of comparing ourselves to other people in all these different ways. And guess what it does for you? Nothing good. It's true. So guys, one of the best things you can do to increase self-esteem is to stop comparing yourself to other people. So we're going to do an exercise today that I hope will stick. Uh, this is something I want you to do for the rest of your life. Don't commit to doing it to the rest of your life. Just do the result for today and then just keep it in your mind and then maybe tomorrow you can try it again. Okay, but here's what I want you to do. So here's the result for today. I want you to do something kind of cool. I want you to start by going back to the three that you emailed about your traits and I want you to email, call, or text them back with a list of things you love and appreciate about them. Now, why are you doing this? First of all, this is sort of phase one of the result today. You may really respect them. You may think that their life is awesome. And rather than you comparing how bad your life is to how good theirs is, what if you just expressed appreciation for them? What if you just told them out of the blue how much you love and appreciate them? You know what it's going to do? You're going to feel awesome, dopamine, and guess what that's going to make you feel? More self-esteem. So that's step one. Then here's what I want you to do. I want you to try to develop the habit of doing this, what I'm sharing with you, okay, at least once a week, and I want you to do it at random, okay, meaning I want you to just reach out to somebody at random once a week, every week, and I want you to say, I love you, you're awesome, I noticed you do this, that, or the other, and you're amazing, thanks for being amazing, you're going to start to feel great. Now, here's the other thing that I want you to do. I want you to go on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever you use. And I want you to find two people that you always look at and you go, man, I'm envious of their life. Look at what they do. Look at how they live. Look at how incredible it is. Why isn't my life like theirs? And all I want you to do is rather than sitting and comparing yourself to them like you usually do, I want you to just shoot them a message, shoot them a text, whatever, and just tell them how awesome they are and how much you appreciate their example. 
and how much you appreciate being able to sort of experience their life vicariously through Facebook because they live on the other side of the country or whatever. All right? So, again, the result for today is to go back to the three people you emailed and tell them why you love and appreciate them. I want you to start to do this once a week at least. Just find somebody at random and tell them how much you appreciate them. Then I want you to go to people on your social media who you usually envy. And even if it's not on your social media, if you work with somebody and you're like, they're so awesome and they make so much money and I could never be like them, then email them, whatever it is. And I want you to just simply express your gratitude for them, your appreciation for them, and tell them why they're awesome. It's that simple. Why? You guys, again... Because if you will do this, you will feel good about yourself. It's that simple. You will feel good about yourself. When you feel good about yourself, your self-esteem self improves. What happens when your self-esteem improves? You trust yourself more, thus create more ability to achieve more results. So, that's what I want you to do today. Stop comparing and start appreciating. All right? We'll see you tomorrow.